When people are looking for examples of outrageous, ostentatious displays, they ordinarily think of birds. Proud as a peacock, so the saying goes. We should really say proud as a human, though, for we are the undisputed champions of the showy, flashy, gaudy, and glitzy. Just consider this noted portrait of Abraham Lincoln, taken by Matthew Brady on February 27, 1860. Lincoln was about to give his famous address at Cooper Union in New York City, the speech that some say launched his presidential campaign. On the way, Lincoln stopped by Brady's studio for what we would call a photo op. Lincoln was an ambitious politician, the kind that carefully cultivates an image or public persona. He wanted the electric to see him as the voice of moderate reason, when in truth he was quite radical as future events would bear out. This portrait shows the photographer Brady straining to help Lincoln achieve his rhetorical aim. It's a display of probity, sincerity, and earnestness. Lincoln looks directly into the camera, right into your eyes. He's clean-shaven, gaunt, indeed almost skeletal, and impassive. No hint of humor crosses his face. His dress, black frock, collar, waistcoat, tie, bespeak the kind of bourgeois propriety and humility that had become standard for politicians in the 19th century. He's not aiming to be Caesar, but rather Cincinnatus. He came from the plow and, when he's done his duty, he will go back to it. And then there are the books. They are, of course, a symbol of learning, and in his case, meant to remind people that he is a man of the law, of the Constitution. Having them near is not enough. He must touch them. That is, be physically connected to them. They are part of who he is, or rather, who he wants you to believe he is. Ten months after this photo was taken, this man, who wanted for all the world to be seen as modest, unassuming, and prudent, would take actions that would lead the United States directly into the Civil War. The way we display ourselves to others is one way. The reality is often quite different.